Hey there, this is Bill Rogers. I'm here with your tip of the week. We all know that we're a beer drinking society. All we have to do when we watch the football games and the basketball games on TV on the weekend, beer commercial after beer commercial. But we also are approaching France in the amount of wine that we consume each year. You have been faced with this situation as a host before, as I have. You've got to open the bottle of the wine for the guest, bottle of wine for the guest. Uh, this is a, a typical wine opener, which everybody will look at and say, oh, okay, well, there's a wine opener. However, this is the waiter's wine opener. And when you pull this out at the table, people that have been involved in this before will look and say, does he really know what he's doing? And I'm here to tell you that with a little bit of practice, you can be a sommelier. This actually is a, the knife portion of the opener. Whoops, you go around, cut, and then pull the foil off. Actually, I did that before we started. This is the fourth take. Uh, then you take the, uh, the corkscrew. The only thing that you've got to do here is make sure that you hit the center. Don't hit the left or the right. Scrape up against the bottle. You can actually split the cork, and then you, you've got a problem. So you just stick this in the cork like this and turn. And when you get to a particular level, you're going to uh, apply, apply uh, upward pressure and it's going to pull the cork out. So let's see whether or not we can do this with a little minimal amount of difficulty. Okay, there we go. You've got that. And you pull and the cork comes out. Most likely, it's probably a better idea to do this a little bit before dinner, just because uh, you want, if you're using red wine, you want it to breathe. So, uh, go get yourself one of these and impress your friends. Um, this actually is a bottle of Moe. I'm not going to open this today because this is for special occasions. And for the first person that buys a house and allows me to, to finance it, I'll bring this over and we can share it when you buy your new house. You know, housing today in this area is as, as least expensive as it was in the 1970s when you take into account uh, prices and rate. So, from the slopes of the shore, from Great Falls to Condo Canyon, get rockin' with lockin'. Happy Valentine's.